Okay, welcome to my lab overview for my computer forensics course. We are using the lab manual for Guide to Computer Forensics Investigations, 5th edition by Andrew Blitz. I'm going to be walking through these labs just because I've had several people ask questions about them. So this is for lab one. We're going to be installing OSF forensics in Windows. We're going to be installing the FTK imager. We're going to be installing Pro Basic or Pro Discovery Basic, and we're going to be installing Access Data Registry Viewer. So the first lab is actually installing OSF Forensics. So a few nidbits before we get started. I copied two folders here. Basically, I copied the disk from the uh, lab book. This is all the information that was on the disk. And here is all the information that was on the disk in the actual textbook. Our author is kind of uh, special. So the first lab, installing OS, OS Forensics in Windows. We're going to be looking at our lab. So it says find the OSF EXE. So I'm going to make a few assumptions. I'm going to assume it's going to be in DVD files. And I'm going to look through all of the folders. And it happens to be uh, produced by Pathmark Software because we're, the lab is entitled OSF Forensics. So here we go. It wants us to install the OSF portion. So go and double click on it. Yep. Follow the on screen prompts, choose what's appropriate, which should basically be ex I accept the terms and services and next. And actually, we're fairly close with the first lab. Chapter one is more about getting all the software installed. So do keep that in mind. I'm going to go ahead and leave the Launch OSF uh, Forensics checkbox. Our author is very pro using the continue using free version. And here is our Forensics Toolkit. One last thing we have to do before we move forward, I'm going to go back to my lab files. It wants us to find the appropriate OSF hash set. Uh, I'm using Windows 7, so I'm going to go ahead and extract all. It wants us to do a very specific location, which happens to be C program, uh, program data, but you'll notice it's not there. So there's a few ways around that. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to go back to File Explorer window. I want to go to C drive. And you'll notice, again, they're not there. So I'm going to actually go ahead and unhide folders. So view, show hidden files and folders. And you'll see that our program data really is there. It just happens to be hidden. So if we go back to program data, we're going to be saving it to Passmark, to Forensics, to hash set. And we should be OK there. Click OK. It should be C drive, program data, Passmark, OSF. O S forensics and hash set. Go and click extract, and that's what we want. And that's actually it for the lab 1.1. Okay, going on to lab two. I'm gonna go ahead and close all my windows. We're gonna be installing the FTK imager. So I'm gonna go ahead and It wants us to go to a specific website, but I'm actually going to Google it instead. FTK. It wants us to find the 3.3.0 imager. I hope if I spell it correctly. Reason I Googled it instead of 
going directly to access data is because instead of having to go through a bunch of submenus, I could just go directly to it. I want to down, uh, download it, fill out the appropriate information, insert or email. You want to make sure to fill out at least the correct email address. Okay, so I just went to my email and checked it, and this is the email that I got from them. I want to click on the download FTK imager. I want to go ahead and save it. If you get a corrupt or invalid, it is okay. I've had to do this a few times. I actually want to close it. I want to re-download it. Except saving it, I'm just going to click on Run. So interesting thing is even though it's, it's showing corrupt, it does actually download. I save everything to downloads. So it actually does download. So I just had to go through a few times, even though it's still showing corrupt, it does actually uh, download correctly. Follow the appropriate on-screen prompts, which basically is uh, accept the terms and services, next and install. So we're actually getting through a lot of this. I'm gonna go ahead and launch it just to make sure it launches. And it does. I'm gonna go ahead and exit out of it. I'm gonna, I went ahead and I closed everything after installing the Access Data FTK Imager. Next, we're gonna be moving on to installing the Pro Discovery uh, Basic Tool. So I'm gonna go to Labs, go to DVD Files, and again, I'm going to go through all the groups to see who uh, did it. And we're installing the Pro Discovery Basic, and they are a ARC group of New York. And I'm going to be installing the x86 version. And again, follow the appropriate on screen prompts. <laughs> Accept the license agreement. Next, next. And install. And we are almost done. I'm going to go ahead and double click on Pro Discovery Basic just to make sure it works. Yes, it does. And moving on to lab 1.4, we're going to be installing the Access Data Registry Viewer. It wants us to go to accessdata.com. We're going to be going to our products and items, so we can actually go to resources. We can find it that way. Or if you already know the URL, we could do that, which I do. Product downloads. And we are searching for the access data registry viewer. Oh, there it is right there. We're going to be looking for version. Our book says 1.8.0.5. I'm going to be downloading the 1.813. That will work for us. I'm going to go ahead and download it. Again, I'm going to save it. And I'm going to run it. And just like before, follow the appropriate on-screen prompts. 
accept the license agreement, understand where everything is installing, and we are good to go. So, this actually completes labs for chapter one. I'm going to again double check, make sure registry viewer opens. And I'm not uh, using a security device, so I, I'm going to have to run it in a demo mode, which that's okay. Big thing was, does it work? That's what I needed to know. All right, that actually completes chapter one's labs. Thank you.